So I want my Pac-Man to be able to move around the room. To do that, I'm, I don't play with the sprites, I play with the objects. The objects are the things I can control and do things with. So I'm going to click on that and I get this space here, which is at the moment is empty. Well, there's two sections to it. First section, here's the events. Those are things that happen. The actions are things that result from that. So let's give it an example. Let's add an event. Now, that could be a collision, two things running into each other. Or it could be I've set an alarm. Or it could be when something is created or when something is destroyed. Or when something's hit on the keyboard. And that's actually what we want to do. We want to start with a key press. And we're going to start with a key press. And the arrows, the buttons we're going to use to control the Pac-Man on the screen are the up, down and left and right arrows, which are on the keyboard between sort of the letter set and between the number pad. And I'm going to click on the right mouse button. So the event, what happens is the person playing the game presses down on the right arrow. What we want to happen as a result of that, the action is we want the Pac-Man to move to the right. So I've now clicked on a direction. I've dragged on a move. So cancel that. I've dragged on a move and I've clicked on the right. Now the speed can vary between 0 and 9. So I'm going to pick a nice middle speed of 5 and click OK. OK. So, so far so good. So what I'm saying is when somebody presses on the right button, the Pac-Man starts moving right at speed 5. Well, let's test that out. To test the game, we now need to click onto the green arrow button here. Okay, it's not very big, but it's, it's there. It has a think about it, and it comes up with the game. Now, at the moment, the character is just sitting there on the screen because nobody's pressed any button. But at the moment, I know you can't see this, but I click the right button, it starts moving across the screen. Now, the first problem is he goes straight off the screen. He doesn't stop. Even though I've let go of that button, he doesn't stop. Now that can be a bit of a pain in a game, if because what you want is usually in a game is when you press a button, you want the character to move. When you let go of a button, you want the character to stop. So let's add that. So go back to the object. Say when I press the right button, I want him to start moving, and I want him to start moving right at speed five. I want to add a second event. And the second event is when the key, when the right key is released, so when somebody lets go of the release button, I want him to stop moving. Now obviously stop moving has a speed of zero. So now he stops. So when I press the right button, he moves right. When I let go of the right button, he stops. So let's try that out. So press play comes up with load comes up so now when I press and let go of the button he's moving across the screen and when I let go of the button he's stopping moving so I've got control over him or at least I've got control in the right direction what we need to do next is add some control to make him go left and up and down